you guys? Kevin Rusher here. Welcome to the video where I tell you absolutely everything about the next season of Faction, some Archon stuff, all that jazz is coming your way right now. So, hope you all enjoyed episode 900 Factions, by the way. I thought it was, uh, it was a pretty crazy episode, especially the ending of it. So, I hope you hope you stuck around to the end. Uh, just a big ups to everybody who has joined the channel recently. We've uh, we've been doing all. Like, we hit some records yesterday, and I just wanted to point out, I love you guys. Thanks for your support, and welcome to the channel, my my fellow new rushers. And uh, thanks for all the, the old OGs for sticking around. I really appreciate it. All right. So, I got Curtis in the call. How are you doing, Kurt? I'm pretty good. I'm doing pretty good, man. How about you? Oh, I am fantastic. Nervous. Uh, you're nerv nervous. I'm all, you, we always get a little <laughs> bit nervous, obviously. With the end of a season means the start of a brand new faction season. And this one is a big one. This is the season that will end on episode 1000 of the faction show here on the Archon. So let's get right into it. We got a lot to talk about. So today, today, if you don't like talking, I'm sorry. Today is just all talking, all information. There's a ton of it. Let's do this thing. So... Starting off, we are going to get into it right away. The brand new faction server for next season will be called Cyan X. Cyan, Cyan X. And it is releasing Wednesday, June 8th. So if this, uh, if you're seeing this video right when it comes out, it'll be releasing two days from now. Wednesday, June 8th. And that means the first episode of the brand new season will be live 7 p.m. Eastern, Thursday, June 9th. Why is it called Cyan X? Well, if you guys don't know uh, the history of this faction show, on episode of uh, on episode 300 or so, 350, I changed the shape of this show. It went from straight up just raiding and not interacting with anybody to getting people in calls, to the drama, to all this. And during faction Cyan is when this show ended up blowing up and it, it turned my channel and this channel into what it is today. Faction Cyan was the roots of this show and Faction's Cyan X is, uh, and also Cyan is when Napkin and I were, were enemies. So Cyan X is a big throwback to that and lots of things will be similar to that season. So big throwback there. Next thing on the list, Faction's Cyan X will be joinable via a beta fee. So you guys know, there's always some bugs, some issues, etc. when we release a brand new server. It always happens and we always do donator only for the first few days on the server. It's just, it's just how it's been and it's the best way to test out bugs and make sure everything's working right. How we're going to do it to make it EULA compliant, EULA friendly and to, uh, to work with our new rank supply, rank mission system, etc. There will be a beta fee. So all you got to do to get on the server, it's uh, it's not as expensive as a rank would be, etc. You can go to shop now. They're live right now. You can pick them up. A beta fee for Cyan X, $10 for beta access. Now we know, you know, $10 actually, I got something to announce to make it a bit cheaper in a second. But um, the server will not be public until Monday, June 13th. So you get five full days of beta access usually we do about three days but we figured if it's a straight up if you're just pay paying paying for beta access we want to make it a bit longer for you guys and uh and i think everyone will understand that help us test out stuff and get a little bit of a head start so with that being said public uh the server is public to non-donators etc non-beta fee users public monday june 13th so you will have wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday if you pick up the beta fee now the beta fee is ten dollars but there is a 20% off sale happening on the entire Archon shop, except for unbanned fees. Sorry, uh, sorry, cheaters and hackers. You don't get a discount. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I like that, dude. I like that. 20% off sale uh, on all of the Archon except unbans starting Tuesday, June 7th. So the day after this video is uploaded, you can go on the shop. It's from Tuesday, 12 a.m. Eastern, all the way till Sunday, June 12th. 11:59 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you pick up whatever you need to supply drops, rank drops, rank missions, etc. And the beta fee will that that'll make it eight dollars. So it's an eight dollar beta fee, and uh, I hope people are cool with that. That's that's kind of our plan right now with that. Twenty percent off sale. Make sure you take advantage of it. 
Ultimate Crate Key Edition 3. It releases Wednesday along with the release of Cyan X. We will be doing the Ultimate Crate Key Edition 3. Brand new prizes, rewards, etc. So be on the lookout for that. I'm super excited for a new Ultimate Crate Key. I'm always excited for a new Crate Key. Now let's get into the details of next season. What is Cyan X all about? How's it going to be different? How's it going to change the show? Well, you guys already know based on F900, the cliffhanger there. Things are going to be different between Napkin of Truth and I. And the team splitting up, etc. You guys don't know how all that's going to work. So first off, that is going to be probably one of the biggest changes in the show is not being with my boy Nap. That is going to be very weird for me. Back to the old Cyan days, hence Cyan X. But with that being said, the gameplay changes for Cyan X. First off, lots of you have guessed it, custom biomes dude we got custom biomes coming to you ladies and gentlemen uh we were giving hints away in the factions episodes where we were demonstrating the rank missions the supply drops etc we always did it in the custom biome few people caught on in the comments good on you there will be brand new custom biomes i'll uh kurt i'm gonna throw on a couple couple screenshots right now for these ladies and gentlemen eh Yep, uh, nice little shaders for you. You got some good picks for me. So there it is. <laughs> the uh, There is some screenshots of the custom biomes you'll be seeing on Cyan X. Could change the way bases are made, etc. But all in all, the server's just going to look really freaking cool, man. Next thing, custom enchants. Now, this is the biggest debate. So, custom enchants are still a thing. But wait, we are doing OP factions. OP factions. Factions and if my mind serves me correct we have not done OP factions since before Faction science so that was like ep 200 days. I'm talking it has literally been years since we have done OP factions now Why does this matter with custom enchants custom enchants are a lot less valuable in OP factions your gear breaks really freaking fast as you've seen when we fight on sapphire etc and the damage is a bit bigger on top of that, there will be a couple new custom enchants added along with a brand new tier 4 custom enchant slot that will be 60 XP levels to gamble for. And there will be two new enchants there and replenish 3 will be put into there as well. It may be called replenish 4 uh, because it will be moving to tier 4. It will still do the same things. The biggest issue you guys have and I think the server has with custom enchants right now is no one dies no one freaking dies and it's uh it ticks some people off so the beauty of this custom enchants with op factions people are gonna die but on top of that we have focused heavily on on uh offensive Off offensive enchants are what is coming to uh to the server so uh i won't talk about it but it's a really cool enchant and it's going to be called tank Four. So that's coming very soon. That is a new offensive uh, custom OP faction enchant. And uh, it'll, yeah, it'll really help for people dying lots more. So a lot more action. Next thing on the list is a, uh, a little raiding edition, eh, Kurt, that we've, uh, we've decided here. And what it is basically, correct me if I'm wrong, is you, so say you're getting raided. Lots of, we did a lot focusing on raiding bases this season and changing how that works. So, if you are raiding a faction, as soon as TNT activates in that faction's land, so I'm raiding, uh, I'm raiding Bob's base. As soon as a piece of TNT activates in a claim in Bob's land, Bob cannot mine any spawners in his land for 20 minutes. Keep in mind, it does, Kurt, you got to explain this a little bit more. It does not reset, okay? So... So the basic point of this is so people cannot take down their spawners as easily so that when raids happen, raids are more rewarded for and more spawners are gotten from it or given from gotten. I don't know if gotten's a word, but that's how, so, and they don't reset, Kurt, right? Expand on that a bit. Yeah. So, so basically, let's say I'm raiding Bob, okay? And I've just shot this piece of land, this TNT into his piece of land. He will then have a 20 minute timer where he can't mine spawners because in the past, on the previous servers, we made it so that spawners took a while to mine with your hand, and that's not in this season. Yeah. We're going to be reimplanting Silk Touch because um, we're not having the spawner system in this season. So basically, the way we're countering the fact that people are going to take down all the spawners when raiding, which then made the raid not worth it, this is what we're doing to counter that. Oh, so I get it now. So yeah, the spawner system's gone, so it's very easy to take down spawners. 
now people can't do it easily. So that's the idea of that little update there. Now here it is. Expanding on that, the spawner level tier system has changed. So basically how it works now, just cancel out everything you know. So now you can buy any spawner whenever the heck you want if you have the money for it. You don't need to be level 11 to buy IG spawners, etc. You can buy uh, blaze spawners whenever the heck you want. But the spawner level tier system has changed. Here is how it works. There is now three tiers and each tier upgrades an individual spawner which makes that one spawner the one individual spawner spawn mobs more quickly okay so how does that work so say i place down a creeper spawner i place it down that one individual creeper spawner starts off at tier one in order to upgrade what do you have to do do you right click the spawner kurt yeah so basically you will look at that spawner and you'll you won't be able to have anything in your hand and what you'll do is you will right click the spawner and it'll open up a GUI and then once you've opened up the GUI there will be a green button to basically confirm it and then obviously a red button to deny it and then in the middle kind of like our rank up system where it's got the price in the middle and accept or deny and it will tell you how much XP it's going to be and how and basically what level of spawner you're going to be upgrading to and once you get to the highest tier level, you're obviously not going to be able to upgrade it anymore. So as you upgrade, your mob spawners will then start to spawn more mobs um, and more frequently. And you do this using XP, right? Yeah. So since we've taken out the XP system uh, in the, the old spawner system, we still wanted XP to have a huge use in the server. Yeah. With it being custom enchantments and stuff. So we figured this was, instead of using money, we wanted to use XP. So yeah, this uh, utilizes XP a lot more. Okay, okay. And it's individual spawners. So if you got 10 creeper spawners, you would have to upgrade each spawner. So it's going to be pretty cheap probably per spawner because, you know, some bases got like 200, 200 spawners, right? They got to upgrade each one individually. And how it is going to work is when you mine the spawner, the level does not go away. So when you're raiding a bunch of spawners... They could be all tier 1s, they could all be tier 3s, and that is going to make a big difference on how much they're worth and how efficient they actually are. So it's going to change spawners a crazy amount, and it's a really cool addition to the Archon, uh, the Archon faction. So that's very exciting, one of the bigger ones there. One of the last things, the one probably the biggest change, is Faction's Core. Now how does this work? It is a new way of raiding. So how it works. When you claim your faction's first piece of land, the core will spawn in, okay? We don't know what that core will be. Say it's a beacon for now, okay? So that core will spawn in. You can only break a core with TNT. Once it's there, it's there unless TNT slowly starts to destroy it. Just like Obsidian where TNT hits the Obsidian with Obby Breaker. Think of that system. If the core is broken, an unclaim all will occur for that faction so if team nudist places down a core and that core is tnt would by another faction or someone in your faction if tnt hits it enough times then team nudist has an unclaim all basically so this makes raiding very different if someone is able to raid your core you will lose absolutely everything so defending that core is a very important aspect of this season the core will be strong though, so don't worry about that. You will be able to defend the core with bedrock, with obby, etc. But the core itself will be very powerful. It won't be 10 TNT hits. It could be 100 to 1,000 TNT hits, something like that. So cores will not be easy to break. You can also level up your core using XP. Let me give an example of how it works. These are not the actual numbers. These are just example numbers. So a level 1 core takes 100 TNT to break. You would then spend XP on that core using the right click system, the uh, confirm, etc. And a level two core would now take 200 TNT to break. Again, those are not real numbers, but that is how it's gonna work. As you upgrade the core, the core becomes stronger and it is harder to break that core. And you can max a TNT, or I keep saying TT, max a core out of Faction's core up to level 5. So obviously we'll see the numbers, etc., the prices once we actually get onto the server, the season, in episode 1 here on Thursday. 
Uh, and then also, the core does not change. Like, you can still use the commands, unclaim all, overclaiming, etc. It doesn't change any of that. It just adds another aspect and basically makes it harder to defend bases. Because this season of factions, we found that bases were too good. <laughs> bases were too strong. And obviously, that's a good thing. People are getting better on the Archon. But raiding is a big part of factions, and we want raiding to exist. And we want people who do raid to be rewarded for it. But obviously, if you are a good defender and a good base builder, you are going to be able to defend these cores. Last couple things, that's basically Cyan X. Of course, there's a lot of other stuff, specific enchants, etc. We'll talk about in the actual season uh, opener. But we've added you cannot log off in Factions Land unless you are in that faction uh, to prevent people setting homes, etc. Uh, make bases more reusable. So if people spend, you know, 20 hours, 30 hours of work on a base, they get raided, they can reuse it again. We want that to be part of the game. Last thing, Factions Chrome will reset this Friday, June 10th. So if you're new around here looking for a fresh start, and if the new Cyan X is full, Factions Chrome will be resetting. You'll be able to compete for Battle Top, F Top, uh, uh, Bycraft prizes uh, via Factions Chrome. So make sure you check that out. And other than that, Curtis, did I miss anything? Nope, you missed nothing, dude. I missed nothing, dude. Holy, my mouth's getting dry, dude. That was a tough one. <laughs> Lots of talking there. That's, a, you know, I'm a professional talker, I think, and I just talked more than I've ever talked in my life. Again, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see all of this stuff in action, hop on to pvp.thearchon.net. Wednesday, June 8th is when Cyan X drops. And, of course, the new season begins Thursday for the videos, so make sure you're here on Thursday on the channel, 7 p.m. Eastern, and also uh, the sale. The sale has started Tuesday, June 7th, I believe, and then Monday right now you can pick up the beta fees to join Cyan X uh, during the beta testing up until Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, that is everything. Thank you for being here. Lots of information in one video. Sorry if I dragged it on a little bit. I tried to be quick and efficient there. Uh, but honestly, thank you for all your support on the channel recently. I uh, we've we've been hitting records lately, and it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm super happy. I've just I'm just in a really good mood, and I'm I'm going the hardest I've ever went at YouTube, and it's because of your your guys' awesome support. So thanks for being here. Touch that like button if you're excited. Join the rushers by subscribing to my channel if you're new around here, and have a good day. We'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.